All right, babe, as requested, let's talk about ventilator alarms. This is the most annoying but important noises in the unit. So we're going to discuss what it means and possible solutions to these issues. So we're going to review peak pressure, minute ventilation, expiratory tidal volume, respiratory rate, and apnea alarms. So starting with our high peak pressure, this indicates that your vent is struggling to push air in. I want you to think about mucus plugging, bronchospasms, coughing, biting the tube for patients who do not have a bite block or a kink circuit. In order to fix that, I want you to look at the patient. You're going to suction them. They might need a bronchodilator or change that HME. Next, we have low peak pressure. This indicates that air is leaking out. I want you to think that something is disconnected. There's a leak or examine your ET tube or trach. Uh, In this case, to fix it, you're going to reconnect something, um, check your cuff, uh, review that circuit. High minute ventilation indicates that there's too much air moving. So I want you to think the patient is experiencing pain, anxiety, fever, or under sedation, aka they waking the hell up. In order to fix it, treat the underlying condition. Low minute ventilation indicates that there's not enough air moving in and out. I want you to think over sedation, fatigue, or a circuit leak. In order to fix it, wake them up, adjust the settings, or fix that leak. Next, we have high tidal volume. This indicates that your patient is exhaling more air than expected. I want you to think increased respiratory effort, auto-triggering, or hyperventilation. In order to fix it, address those causes. Low tidal volume indicates that your patient is not exhaling enough air. I want you to think that there's, oh, sorry, there's a leak in the circuit or a cuff, weak respiratory effort, or poor lung compliance. In order to fix it, check for those leaks, assess your effort, and adjust the vent settings if needed. So next we have high respiratory rate. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No? Okay, just kidding. Um, So we do. So it's... It's indicative of possible hypoxia, pain, or anxiety. In order to fix it, take a look at your O2, adjust those settings, or meds. Yes, meds. Meds fix a lot of things for patients on vents. So for low respiratory uh, rate, we're going to think sedation, neurological issues, or they're about to code. In order to fix it, I want you to stimulate, adjust the settings, or you know, um, get ready to start compressions. <laughs> Apnea, congrats. Your patient forgot how to breathe. Think neurological issues, OD, respiratory failure. In order to fix it, I want you to ventilate manually uh, and ensure they don't code. So listen, more of the story, vents don't be for fun. Be observant, fix the problem, and don't DC to JC. Love you, bestie. Let's chat later. Bye.